Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. It's Sunday, the 20th of March, which means it's Tarot Day. Oh, how have you been the last week? Did the cards last week mean anything to you? All right, let's see what the next week is going to bring for us. So the first card that she, my lady, who's always with me, she said, find a card from my normal tarot deck. So my normal tarot deck looks like this. And today I got the Six of Swords. So let's have a look at what the Six of Swords means. Ready? Oh, big things are coming this week, guys. The meaning of the Six of Swords is quite literal. We must remember that, okay? What does literal mean? Moving out of stormy waters into calmer ones. If you have experienced difficult times, well, who hasn't? <laughs> Let's go there. Who hasn't? If you have experienced difficult times, this card assures you that matters will improve and harmony will once more be restored. As the Six of Swords in the boat demonstrate, our experiences are part of us and travel with us, a reminder of the life lessons that we have encountered. This card can also represent a physical journey, usually long or over water. Well, because it's a boat on water, hello. So before I analyze what that card represents, let's go and have a look at the second. The second card that I was told to get this morning was from Louise Benton's, her pack, which the I always love showing off her website and if you do want a pack of her cards the description is below so you can click on it and buy a packet of her cards not only does she do the amazing artwork but she also writes the poems on the back okay so this is what today's card looks like what do you see in this picture pause the screen and really look at this picture okay isn't that just amazing artwork because it is the communion card and I'll just put it up here if you wish to pause the screen and have a read yourself the communion card so let's read it together divine miracle of spirit and form through the sacred portal of woman we are born into the manifest world we fall as we hear the sound of Gaia's call this sensuous world, a truly magical place. Rest in her presence and feel her embrace. Life unfolding in every moment. Changing, expanding, transforming, evolving. Mystic realms we have yet to explore. Oh gosh, beauty beyond what we have known before. As we open our hearts, the more life can flow in and a deeper connection to worth will begin. Surrender your heart to the heart of the mother, a planetary being with soul like no other. We journey together and she embraces our union of spirit and form in this holy communion. And the words at the bottom, I am an integration of spirit and form, and I embrace the sensuous beauty of this world. Are you already seeing the connection between the two cards that I've already got? Oh, it's going to be an interesting read, because now we have my little lovey-dovey card. I love the little love dove on the front. Love fixes things when they break. Love fixes things when it breaks. And I've already pulled out my ruin. And the ruin of today is this guy. Look at him. Isn't he a gorgeous ruin? Never had this one before. 
So in my guide of ruins, here he is just here. That's the one I'm going to read today. So here he is, so you can compare it, that it is actually that one. Okay, let's have a read, because this one is the Mankind Ruin Stone. And it's called Manas. Manas. It's the ruin of all mankind, both men and women. The symbol of interconnectedness, cooperation, equality, empath and inclusion. So today we have four dot points with regards to this ruin. And here he is again. There he is. Okay. First dot point, a reminder that we are all connected. <laughs> oh my gosh. By common experiences. <laughs> Focus on being, bringing a positive attitude and energy to your relationships. Positive when things break. Be supportive. Okay. And also, what did this card represent? We'll go back to that one in a moment too. Be prepared to take advice. And also be kind to all, including yourself, and bring love and support to all. So what does these cards all represent? We've got to go back to the first card, which is the Six of Swords. Let's have a read of this one again, because there are some definite messages today. The meaning of the Six of Swords is quite literal. Moving out of stormy waters into calmer ones. If you have experienced difficult times, this card assures you that matters will improve and harmony will once more be restored. Now, the big word there that I'm getting is harmony. People are now waking up. And what happens when we wake up to something? Let's just say you hear some gossip, right? And you hear a story about what somebody else is doing. When we wake up, that means that we find out whether that hearsay is true or not. And what's happening now on the planet, a lot of people are waking up to that hearsay and finding out whether it's true or false. Okay? There's a, over the last two years, there's been a lot of hearsay, correct? Okay? A lot of gossip in media, social media, even talking to your neighbours, they say, oh yeah, I heard that we've got to do this now. Okay, so people are now starting to wake up. And what's happening there is we fight it. We get attack it because we don't believe this new information. Okay, we don't want to believe this new information. So our brain starts all this, you know, we could have nightmares. We could be having feelings where we not haven't got any self-worth. We feel let down. We feel depressed. So we must attack those personal mental type issues and say to ourselves, this is not who I am. It may have been me in the past, but it's not me in my future. I don't want to be that person. So in my future, I'm going to have harmony which was represented in the Six of Swords, correct? Harmony is now being restored. People are hearing the truths about what's going on and they are facing those truths like a trooper, like a warrior, like a battler. They're coming out of the woodwork all over the planet now and what they're doing is that they're joining forces not just with spiritualism and returning to who we are in our innate humanistic behaviors but they're finding tribes together all over the planet where we're now talking to people on their same wavelength and we're waking up to the truths okay so in this communion card there are a few lines that i want to say okay um i'll just repeat these ones changing expanding, transforming, and evolving. A lot of people are not just waking up now to the truths on the planet, but they're also going deep within themselves and waking up to who they truly are. 
they're finding out how spiritual they are. They might start seeing shadows. You might start having weird dreams that feels like you're really there, which are called lucid dreams. You might be walking down the street and you just see something that no one else can see, okay? Because that's how we're starting to wake up into this spiritual plane of evolving into our innate humanistic characteristics, okay? Um, mystic realms we have yet to explore. So that explains that people are now waking up, okay, when yet to explore what happens now that I know this information, where do I take it? What do I do with this power that I've now been given, okay? Um, as we open our hearts, the more life can now throw, um, flow in. So as we open our heart to truth and honesty, and we don't judge or accuse others. Please don't ever do that because that is very negative. But when we open our hearts to new information and we accept it and then we prove whether it's right or wrong, that's when all this good stuff starts flowing into our hearts, okay? So a deeper connection with earth will begin, okay? Surrender your heart to the heart of the mother. The mother is the world, the earth. The earth is hurting right now, whether you believe in climate change or um, the axis of our poles being off axis with the magnetic pull or alien invasion or any of these other conspiracy theories, okay? So we're connecting now more with who we are as a species, not just corporate greed, and now we're connecting more with nature, which is the planet, okay? Some of you may have gone out and got a new pet this week, which shows that you're also in this connection, okay? We journey together and she embraces our union of spirit and form in this holy communion, okay? So this means that a lot more people now are waking up to who they truly are in this blessed, solistic um, persona that we inhabit and then we go over to our little lovey-dovey card love faces things when they break remember don't cast judgment on what others have been through don't judge someone by their clothes their hair their makeup or their car house or any other personal items that they possess don't judge them we don't know their life we don't know what they've been through their struggles their mental health issues okay other people that have affected them through growing up so don't accuse anybody just allow them and accept them for who they are love fixes things when they break so trust in the love of the universe call in your angels because they always listen okay and if they don't act just remember Sometimes they cannot breach our life contracts. We have life contracts and life lessons. If we have a life lesson where we should be more generous, okay? I'm just going to go here now with generosity. If that's our lesson and we say, oh, angels, please let me stop being more generous. I've got to start saving my money. They're not going to stop that because it's one of the lessons that you've asked to learn in this lesson, right? In this existence so love fixes things when they break to me that represents that healing is now occurring people are waking up to the truths around the planet and there's a healing that's occurring they're realizing that they had been had scammed spammed whatever you want to call it people now are waking up so don't judge or accuse the people who have done it, okay? Let them be is the big word here. Now let's go over to our little ruin. There's a couple of little pointers here I want to point out. First one, a reminder that we are all connected. We are all the same. We are all an eternal energetic being. We are equal and we are connected. Okay, 
Focus on bringing a positive attitude and energy to your relationships. Now, relationships aren't just with your partner or your children or your family. It's your extended family. It's your friends. It's the friends of your friends. It's your neighbours. It's the people who live two suburbs away. It's your co-workers. It's the driver in the car that you pass going to work tomorrow. Because that's a still a relationship because you're sharing the road. Okay? So it means that our relationships are going to be more positive if we allow it to be, is the big word here. So think positively and think of ways. You know, say to yourself, what can I do today to show that I'm kind? What can I do today to show that I'm generous? What can I do today to show that I'm courteous? Courteous. Courteous. I was in traffic yesterday going down to my local shops and we had to stop at a red light and there was heaps of cars coming down the road and there was about three cars coming out of a shop all wanting to turn into my lane. I stopped and left a gap for the three cars. That's being courteous. So then they didn't have to get stuck there with all these other cars. We're at a red light. I wasn't going anywhere anyway. So think about ways that you can be courteous. Open a door for somebody. Let them in. Don't reverse out in front of someone when you're leaving a car park. Think about how can I be kind? How can I show mercy? Because this is what the world needs right now, right? Last dot point, be kind to all and bring love and support to all. One of the common things I do Every day, I say to myself, today, I'm going to make three people feel good. That's like a little mission statement of mine. Today, I want to make three people feel good about themselves. If I go up to the shop, I'll comment somebody. Compliment somebody, I should have said. I'll comment on their shoes or their handbag. Or, oh, geez, I love that shirt on you. It suits your hair. That sort of thing. It's not flirtatious. It's being courtesy kind and complimentary we're forgetting these qualities which are accumulations of love so what is your part this week guys because the cards are saying greatness is coming harmony is being restored do you want to be a part of it is the big question for each and every single one of us what are we going to actively do this week to show kindness, grace, mercy, forgiveness, and most of all, love to other people? Hope you all have a good week. I know I will because these cards, oh, it's great. Talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.